the 5 alpha reductase pathway in this woman with PCOS is turned up because she's exposed to it. She's having this testosterone issue. When you give that woman progesterone, that upregulated 5 alpha reductase pathway because of PCOS is going to take this progesterone and it's going to ramp it up really fast into allopregnenolone. That's going to create the same thing we're talking about. That's what creates reverse responding. So the wheel's been spun up by PCOS, and you throw progesterone in there, and you're gonna have this quick conversion. And then you have this wave of allopregnenolone into their brain, and the brain's like, well, what is this? And will respond inappropriately. Paradoxically, you'll see that person having that reverse response that I've mentioned. When else do you see this? Say I have a patient presented to clinic, and um, you know she's, she's coming in from a different place. She wants to try a different um, care provider and say she's been put on topical testosterone, as I mentioned earlier in this episode. The topical testosterone really turns up the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. It just does. It, it's, I think it's a five-fold, 5.5-fold level more. So if you're, if you're testosterone, you're taking it topically, you're going to have 5.5 times more dihydrotestosterone than you should normally. Dihydrotestosterone in women causes all the negative side effects you see of testosterone. Oily skin, body hair, irregularities of the libido, you see hair loss. It's not benign. Dihydrotestosterone is beautiful, essential, important. But like allopregnenolone, too much, not good, not good. Too little, no benefit. We need to get it right at the right level. So these patients coming into clinic, a lot of times they're going to a different place and, and, and they've been doing topical and, and no one's been monitoring because that's a kind of a dirty secret out there, a little, little problem we have in medicine that, you know, there's a lot of clinicians. Most clinicians don't test dihydrotestosterone when they give women topical testosterone. And, you know, I, I, I see that as a, a concern that I have. So these women on topical, if I give them progesterone, say they present to clinic, they've been doing well with the topical testosterone, but they're entering perimenopause and like, you know, I'm having these symptoms. So, you know, progesterone is appropriate. The labs look good. Let's do progesterone. Um, if I give that woman progesterone and she has high dihydrotestosterone, same thing as PCOS. I give her the progesterone. It's going to be ramped up and pushed through the 5-alpha pathway quickly. They have a huge surge of the allopregnolone into the brain and they don't feel good. It doesn't work. So it's important to understand the environment where we put the progesterone in their body. It's important to understand the woman in the room with us. 